Osteros is an extremely aggressive boss located in the consumed King's Garden. The fight starts out slow as a monologue plays, but ramps up as the fight wears on. Be prepared for some erratic, but mostly predictable moves from this boss. When you first enter the fog, move towards the boss and bait him into attacking, rolling forward through his swing and hitting him a time or two. Repeat this process until he holds his staff up in the air and summons crystals out of the ground in front of him, which is your cue to back away until they are gone. Be sure to be careful as sometimes when attacking him, you will hop backwards and swing, hitting exactly where you will be standing. from me? Come out. Come out. Don't be afraid. You were born a child of dragons. What could you possibly fear? Now, now, show yourself, Ocelot. My After roughly one third of his health is gone, he will pause for a moment and then he will get down on all fours like a beast and become aggressive. Getting positioned after this transition is the key to this fight. It's very easy to get killed here while you are closing the distance, but after you get up to him, you want to get him caught in a combat loop of sorts. Get up to him, keep your shield up, and roll through his attacks when you get close. Believe it or not, that was the hard part. The strategy now is simple. Roll through his swipes and get into his stomach. Swing a couple of times, then block or roll forward as he will charge and do a five or six swipes as he lunges in a straight line that will take him quite far. You must sprint over to him, close the distance as rapidly as you can, and get in a couple of tacks if you have time. As soon as he lifts his tail, he'll do a tail swipe that hits nearly 360 degrees. When he does this, roll into him, attack once or twice. You'll simply be repeating this combat loop now. Attack a couple of times, block or roll. You'll charge and you'll chase behind him, get in an attack or two, and then roll. Problems arise when you break this cycle by either not closing the distance fast enough, or by getting knocked down or thrown off rhythm. If you get too far, he may charge and one-shot you, or he may do a quick flyby with his white dragon breath that will kill you if it hits. If you can stay focused, you won't have any trouble with this boss. <laughs> 